Watch out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what, what a save. save by Yano. Wow. As he flat out robbed Philip Judy in the middle. Take on three defensemen. He'll draft through them all, shoot and score. What a goal. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a save. Hamilton reached up with that left hand and just yep. snatched it out of the air. Watch this one. Just whoo. Oh my goodness. Wow. Back like he oh, the hill. Oh, what a glove oh. save. Oh, oh. Radic Hunsinger. Oh. This is the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League Weekly Report. I'm Andy Dickerson. It's great to be back with you for a fifth season of action. Each week, we'll bring you the best hits, goals, and saves from the three varsity divisions in the league. In week one, we had a four-game broadcast slate for you, starting with a varsity division two matchup between Pacific Ridge and Capistrano United. It's Zach Lane. Lane now two on two with Holman. Holman finds a save. He's going to walk in for a shot and score! 39 seconds into the season, and the Coyotes take a 1 0 lead. Marcy's faced th four shots. He's allowed one goal. Shot comes in. There's his best save yet. Another shot comes in. Marcy fights it off. And Bryce Milan. Here's Holman now. Brings up. Fires a shot. Glove save and held on. Oh, good job of holding the zone right there. And then all as soon as I say that, oh, a big clearing hit right there on. Bayek, Henning. Dinnings pass is intercepted, and Posser now has his pocket picked. There's Grenade walking in, fires a shot, big save that time by the goaltender, Kennedy. As the puck is taken, back up to Thayer. Thayer from the right point, fires a shot, tipped in, oh, it's going to sneak through! Trevor Pika on the deflection from Luke Thayer. My computer doesn't know. Oh, another shot comes in and score. And that looks like it's Ferry that time. Capital we'll United skates away with an impressive 3-0 victory. Garrett Kennedy made 13 timely stops to help the Coyotes open their season with a 3-0 shutout victory. Next up was our first of two Varsity Division I games. This one featured the Damian Spartans returning to D1 play after a year in D2 against the reigning state and league champion Orange Lutheran Lancers. Furry. Furry up now. Brings it up. He's now nice move by Jacob. Shot comes in and making the save. I just declared on the second attempt is successful. Now here's taking it away. Bring it in. Shot comes in and denied right there. Furry, one on three. He has Breakville breaking to his now right. Nice move back to Breakville. Shot and score! What a pass give and go right there between Furry and Breakville, and it's Jacob, or actually it's Parker Brakeville who bangs home the biscuit. And here once again, here's Fury on a two-on-one. Back to Brakeville. Oh, what a, oh, it went a high. I thought it actually was a save. Now Brakeville in the back hitter, and that's a good save that's, right there by Bacotti. That is Bacotti. a big save for right there. Bacotti coming out like a man possessed, trying to get that first one. It'll be third shift. Pass now. Here's a shot from the point, and it's going to sneak through. I believe tipping it in was Ethan Hurst. The but shot. Hurst with the goal. The shot came from the point, and I believe it was off the tape of Blake Men Mendez, who was playing that man. The point is... Oh, yeah, yeah, there he is. I see no, him. Okay, there's Furry. Yeah. Little, little center ice face-off play there where they draw it back, and they got uh, Fury that comes right from the And it scores! <laughs> so, so they put uh, Fury back, and they put Mendez up on the line, and they win the face-off back to Fury, and he just buzzes past the, the whole Spartan team and, and uh, puts it in the back of the net. A good little... Uh, step to the middle, backhand play, and Bakari just can't uh, keep it out of the net. Slides it over to Fisher. Ryan fires a shot that's blocked out by Meyer. Shot, rebound, score! Always there at the right time is Jacob Foley, and he banks home goal number two. That's on the power play as well, as Mendez will take it. As we're down to our final minute of the second period, intercepted by Kadara, and he rings one, and he scores! I thought he hit the crossbar. But actually, he snuck it under. A point to Bivens. Bivens then tried to return the favor. Here comes Jacob Furry. All alone. Furry walks in, takes a slap shot, score! Jacob Furry with the hatty. And the shorty right there will give Orange Lutheran a 5 1 lead. Again, trying to make something happen. Oh, a big hit delivered that time by number 91, Stiff. Thomas Stiff. Wow, or Steven Stiff, excuse me. Face off one. Unable to clear though are the Spartans. Here's a man walking in. A shot and score, I believe. And credit number 18, Steve Strand with the goal. And we're here with 346 left 
We're going to run time. Jacob Furry powered the Lancer offense with a hat trick and four points, while Jordan Eisenman made 15 saves to secure his first win of the season. Jordan Bacani made 25 saves in the losing effort for Damian. Next up was the second D1 game of the day. This one again featured another team rejoining the D1 ranks in the Edison Chargers versus a perennial powerhouse in the Santa Margarita Eagles. And here's Solani now with some open space. He's going to walk in, drop down for Williams, and fires a shot, and they're making the save. Right away is Jared Dato. This float one on the backside has broken up by Edison. Here's again, shot, score! And that time it's number eight, Brandon Williams. Williams, on the turnover right Freshman. there. Slides it over to Makowicki. Shots, though, this period. Watch out, back in, and score! A turnover leads to a goal right there by Ethan Jones. Right, here wins it. Here's Orsini, two on one with Felicicchio, walks in, fires a shot. Dato not only makes the save, but holds on without giving up any sort of rebound. And tried to fire a shot, that's blocked by Johnson. Now turn around, D-square now with a shot, saved by Dato. Another shot, and Dato's going to cover up on it. Good little scrum by the young guys here for the Eagles. Hard, he gets to lose pucks, and right there, Oh, save right there on Solani, right there by Dato. Huge save by Dato. Wow. We've had them all here. Yep, exactly. Here's a Levy leaving it back for Brandon Williams. Williams fires a shot and scores! Top shot, Fred Ramona keeps the cookies. Another little Levy Solani, Brandon Williams combination play. That can go to Williams by Jared Dato. Another shot, and it's pushed through by Mobby. Well, I got a give and go right there. I think Monty took the pass from number 22, Ryan, excuse me, uh, Max Sullivan. The moment of truth was Austin. Don't send pass to Jones. Shot, save, rebound. Trey he Taylor doing his best version of the uh, front stroke. <laughs> exactly. Circle gets it back to Slotty, back to Williams. Williams can't handle it. Monty can't. He shoots and scores. <laughs> Nick Monty bangs home the biscuit. The third consecutive goal scored by the Eagles in this period. Garrett Dato was stellar as he made 28 stops for Edison, but two goals each from Brendan Williams and Nick Malley were enough for the Eagles to capture the win. Our final contest of the week was another Division II matchup featuring a rematch of a thrilling playoff semifinal as the Central Cathedral Jets clashed with the reigning D2 champion St. John Bosco Braves. So, we're working on that, but we will get that taken care of as soon as possible. Here's Capusta now coming in. He's going to fire a shot. A rebound, and actually knocked in that time by Gonzalez. So, Gonzalez will get the first goal on the rebound. Port right there from Dante Terramani. Dante weaves in, pass one, two, three, and shoots. And there's a big save right there by the goaltender, shoot. Hashtag BDE Hockey. To let us know where you're listening from. Here's a shot it. and score by Dante Tiramani. And he goes top shelf right where Mama keeps the cookies. Yeah. I think it was 7 8 1 or something mm -hmm. like that. Here now is a man bringing in. Tiramani fires a shot, saved that time. Backhander shot, score. One. Really redesigned the website to look really good. So Here's Montero with the shot that's denied now by the goaltender. There's a goal. Oh, shot, and it's a goal this time. Here's Shooty now, bringing it down the left wing. Widens up, fires and scores! Oh my gosh, wow, how difficult an angle was that? Gonzalez, Gonzalez looks, fires a shot, and that's, she tried to go short side and just missed. Right Saturday. off the mask. Oh, did it? Backhander yeah. shot, and score! Back over to Montero, Montero now avoids a hit from Randall. Montero, center pass, shot, score! Philip Shooty! Right in front now, here comes a shot, score! Stan Struthers right there will make it now 8-0. This is Shirelli. Moves it over to Capusta, Capusta winds up, fires a shot, and scores again! Sam Capusta and Preston Park netted five points apiece, while Samuel Cho stopped all 11 shots he saw to earn a 10-0 shutout in his Braves debut. In other news from around the league, over in Lakewood, Placentia Yorba Linda made a smashing start as they dominated fellow newcomer Carnegie Riverside 13-1. Former Villa Park Spartan standouts Angel Fuentes and Corey Mater had 9 and 8 points respectively in the blowout. Verona Norco pulled out a 1-0 nail-biter as Justin Lakin made 38 saves to secure a shutout. Meanwhile, Brandon Yamasaki made 34 saves for Santa Margarita's D3 squad, but was the hard luck loser as Los Alamitos scored twice to pick up the W. 
Brandon Rex made 14 saves to earn the shutout there. Goose Eggs popped up over on the Olympic rink in Anaheim as well as Beckman won 8-0 over Jay Sarah's D3 squad. Alexander Crail had only seven shots to stop to get the zero for the Patriots. Aiden Petrie had four points in that one, by the way. Lastly, back over in Lakewood, Villa Park defeated Servite 6-1 on the strength of four points from Jared Cote. Be sure to check out ADHSHL.com for the latest stats and scores, and then head over to BDEHockey.com to see which games we'll be covering next week. We'll have over 100 games for you to watch this season, so don't miss out. For the ADHSHL, I'm Andy Dickerson. See you next week.